All right, we are back. Let's talk about night number two Which for means. WrestleMania. Actually, I'm, I'm actually more organized now than I was. So, Hooray. let's talk about our opening match. RK Bro, Street Profits, and Alpha Academy. It, I, was, it was a decent opener. It was, it was a decent opener. It was certainly better than night number one. Oh, absolutely. But, you know, again, you can't. He can't do like X, Y, and Z, right? You know, right. So it's like night number one would have been great, but you know, injuries, blah blah blah. Is this right? And, and, and but anyways, it was it was still a great opener. Like I tag really team enjoyed championship it. matches, you can never go wrong with that. But here's the thing: the tag team championship <laughs> matches. I mean, other than well, this one was just weird. I think one of them was just a given of circumstance. Um, it was overall entertaining. I yeah. thought they um, promoted the match itself very well mm -hmm. to novices like you who don't watch it every week. I just wish we had maybe a little bit more, just to be honest. But it was a RKO. A little bit more what? Tag team wrestling? Maybe not that, but maybe more attention with the Street Profits being healed. We'll talk about that later. But I think overall, I did enjoy this. I did. Yeah. But it was a RKO from a top rope Chad Gable to win. We had a um, celebration where Gabe or Gable Steveson was in there, mm -hmm. and um, Chad Gable, who was another what Olympian amateur wrestler, kind of took the little bump there with a belly to belly yeah. suplex. I would say a good thing, but at the end of the day, he needs a little work. Mm -hmm. Please don't put him on Raw immediately. He needs some training. Oh, he's gonna be on Raw immediately. I know that's a problem because there's potential with him. He needs some seasoning. Yeah. He, he he overexposed himself early where people were like, oh, my God, this is really cool because you have, you know, two amateur wrestlers sort of going at it. It just needs some more work. That's all. Anyway, overall, um, RK Bro won. Whatever. Sorry, our next match. Yeah. It was a Haas match. Bobby Elgio I, I like about, this match. It was about what I expected. It actually turned out a little bit better than I thought it was going to turn out, but it still turned out pretty good. I had a lot of fun watching this match. It was, again, it was a Haas match, powerhouse, like, you know, eight-minute at, match. At this, at, at this match, we had, um, we got Domino's, we got pizza, and we wolfed that down. So, watching that and just chowing down on some pizza, it was it was just overall a good You're time. trans fat. Yeah. I look like Bobby Lashley under all of this. You don't look like Bobby Lashley under I am all a, of I this. Am, I'm, an, I'm an enormous, you know, Greek god-esque sculpted black man at the end of the day. <laughs> um, but I will say at the end of the day, it was a lot of fun watching this. I thought that even Omos looked like a star in this match. And I think Lashley does take a lot of credit for that. He really sold well for Omos at the end of the day. Yeah, it's, you know, Omos needs some work, but... But it was a spear for Lashley. Omos sold it. Omos is great at selling. Like, he really knows how he to sell. He needs some work, but... There, there's something there. It, it could have been worse. There, there's something there with Omos. I, I like was. Omos. I overall like Omos. Let's talk about this match. All Same right, thing, this, is, this is this is the match where um where certain people I had so Jim much Cornette, <clears throat> Jim Cornette's gonna die with this match. I loved this match. This is Jim Cornette's funeral. So we had um we had um Party Man, we had um We Man, we had a lot of the jackass guys, a lot yeah. of stunts. People love this match. I love this well, match. Well, except for Jim Cornette, he didn't love this match. This was so much fun. Also, once again, Johnny Knoxville. Um, paying homage to Andy Kaufman. Yep. I really like that. Um, Sami Zayn was great in this. And I think that them re-signing Sami Zayn was a blessing. Because mm -hmm. Sami Zayn's so good. And he really made this. But it was a... I'm not kidding you. I, I can say this a thousand times. I'm never going to get over this. It was a giant mousetrap pin... For Johnny Knoxville to win the match, mm -hmm. Sami Zayn is awesome. I mean, this was so much fun. I loved, I loved every moment of this. I thought the spots were good. The crowd reactions were excellent. Mm -hmm. um, the the cameo appearances were not over the top to where nope. it was annoying, but it was just enough to where people got uh, the reaction. It's, it's where it needs to be on the card. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, a great experience. Just waiting for him to die here. <laughs> right, no kidding. Oh, God. Oh, fuck my life. It was never about the women's tag teams. It was about 
It was it was, it was, it was about the home records. It was it was about Carmella and um what's his name? Corey Sam Graves. Sam Adonis' brother. Right. Because that's pretty much what he is. Corey Graves. What there we asshole. go. It was never about the women's tag team division. That's the problem I had with this match. Nobody this, cared. No. This this match was spotty. It was it was a spot fest. It was it was, it was but it was too much of a spot fest. I couldn't follow it at all. It was ill-prepared. I didn't know who was legal. It was very ill prepared. Corey Graves on commentary, which was super frustrating. Yep. Um I know that a lot of people didn't like me because I was really going off on Carmella and Corey Graves. They cheated. They're home wreckers. Yeah. Don't even bother. I mean, now luckily they, they have a fucking YouTube series not doing well because nobody cares it about sucked. them. Sucked. I watched two episodes because I hate myself. I'm a I'm a masochist. But at the same time, I'm, I'm surprised like, your wrists are still closed. I know. No kidding. <laughs> it was disgusting. It was all just sex jokes. Yeah. And they're like, oh, what about this? Fuck off. Yeah, You're seriously. home wreckers. You ruined the family, you pieces of shit. Yeah, pretty much. And and guess what? It overshadowed it everything overshadowed else the whole that was match. happening here. So, a thing that could have been great. A thing that could have been really good. Is if they had a one-on-one tag team match without the other two teams involved. It should have been Naomi and Sasha Banks. Taking on the home record and the sellout. That's all you need. That's all you needed. You didn't need to have fucking Liv Morgan and what's her name Liv and, Lord, and Liv, Shayna Baszler and, and Natalia. And it was not necessary. It was not necessary at all. They were a non-factor in it this match. It was so annoying and stupid. I hated this match. I did too. This was the worst match of all of WrestleMania. Ah. Uh, to talk about that. I'm I'm gonna disagree with you, but um, Naomi and Sasha Banks won the titles. It was uh, Banks Heyman, I believe. Mm-hmm. At the end, they no, it wasn't. It wasn't Banks Heyman. It was the. Uh, it was a stupid tag team finish or whatever that's called. It was a code breaker face buster, which I kind of liked because guess what? That was one the of, only part that. I, well, I didn't even remember because I didn't even know like what the name. Well, of one of one of the home records, the home record lost, so I was happy about that. Right. Oh and my that, god, that dumbass mask she was wearing, Jesus. Oh yeah, no, you well you you you're not fully exposed to the mask. I'm glad. Yeah, you're very lucky. At the end of the day, you're very lucky. Let's talk about Edge AJ. Okay. Oh my uh, god. So so uh, the rivalry was okay. This match was t- it was weak. It wasn't it wasn't awful. Also, it AJ was... AJ Styles, he got his nick on his cheek, not from the pyro. He when he was walking out, so the entrance way is a two. La- it was like a b- big two layer thing. Yeah. AJ walked out. His hood was over his head. His cheek clipped the other side of the yeah. entrance star. Yep. And it pushed him back, and that's where he got cut. Yeah. It was. It was not the pyro. Right, anyways, this Edge's, match, Edge's entrance was great, by the it way. It was, but this match was it weak. It was boring. It was boring. It was it was a very boring match. And I hate saying this, but it was because of the pacing. And we'll talk about that when we make the shipment just again, because all it takes was one thing, and that was it. Now, I did like the ending. I liked Damien Priest being there, mm-hmm. but not... Getting involved. Well, we'll talk about it making Majestic again. Yes. But we are going to talk about the That's... future plans for Edge. Oh, absolutely. And I'm okay with all of yep, it. Yep, absolutely. All right, let's talk about the next one. Oh. Uh, this abomination from God. Do you really think this why did was... we? Why did we turn the bruise away into a little fucking punk? Right, he looked like a little bitch. He's a little bitch. Also, the New Day, Kofi Kingston, he won the WWE Champion. At this event, mm-hmm. at WrestleMania, yeah, and now he's wearing another man's ring gear, yeah, and losing in like, how how long was this match? Let me see if it was uh, it was, it was like two and a half minutes. It wasn't even two minutes. It was a minute and forty seconds. Cool. Wow. Cool. Great job, WWE. Let's just have two of your brightest fucking stars lose to fucking Sheamus and injury. 
<laughs> Sheamus and Nia Jax. God, no fucking... <laughs> I'm surprised nobody was fucking her. I'm, <laughs> right? I'm almost expecting fucking Wrestling Inc. to tell me that Xavier Woods died of stupidity from this stupid bullshit. I died of stupidity after this match. But it was, Are you kidding? It was, it was some Northern Grit bullshit. I was so distracted by Pete Dunne and him being a scroggy Who's little Pete shit. Dunne? Butch. <laughs> Who's Pete Dunne? <laughs> No, it's Butch. This is cool, guys. It's Butch. You Fuck this guy. Like, legitimately. <laughs> let's, take, let's take Pete Dunne, one of the best wrestlers in the world, and call him Butch. And have him, have him be shameless little cum fucking dumpster. He is a cum dumpster. Fuck this guy. Yeah. He's a little, he, he's he a little take, bitch, isn't he? He's a little Eiffel Tower where he takes Seamus off the pooper and fucking Ridge Holland in the mouth and they fill him up with their fucking Irish grit. Fuck these two. Fuck all of them. <laughs> My God. <laughs> that was a little dark with that, I don't care. Anyway, it was it was Northern Grit, which is what Pete Dunn takes in his... Uh, Pete Dunn takes in his fucking Can we little... talk, speaking of people that take cum into their mouths, let's talk about the next match. I was talking about his asshole, but whatever. Um, this was interesting. There was a lot that I liked. There was a this. lot that was going on with this match, which made it all the more entertaining. Pat McAfee and Austin Theory. Um, so I will say one thing. Um, they really promoted this really well. Uh-huh. It made Pat McAfee really look like a star yep. overall. But also, I'll have to give Austin Theory a lot of credit. He played to the crowd well. Oh, he did. Oh, Mr. McMahon made an appearance. He actually wrestled a fucking match. He did. Let's talk about the fact that so it was, it was Mr. A McMahon wrestled a match. Now, now, before we get into that, Austin or Austin Theory lost, but he did not look weak and lost. He didn't. No. It was a roll up from Pat McAfee mm-hmm. to lose the match or to win the match, but then Mr. McMahon. Took off all of his shit and had a match, number one. So, uh, Pina Gallery and I were obviously brothers. And our grandfather died at 77. Where here's Vince McMahon, pretty much almost the same age, give or take a couple of months. And he looked so great. He wrestled a fucking match. And obviously, no disrespect to our grandpa. He had a, he had a lot of other things going after him at that but point. But Jesus, the guy for his age, he did look great. He didn't look like he looked back in 97 and 2002 but and 2004. That was 30 years ago. But, but God damn it. For somebody who's almost 80, he's 76. He looks better than some people that I see in their 40s. Yeah. In their 40s. You look better than half the people in the fucking crowd. Right. <laughs> um, the clotheslines were a little snug. Yeah. But at the same time, I think I have to give a little bit of credit to Pat McAfee for mm-hmm. that. Um, and also the football into the ribs where Mr. McMahon won. Not the biggest fan of that, but also Stone Cold came out in a Enormous pop. All right, let's talk about that stunner. The stunner on Vince McMahon I was think, weak. I, I think the problem was is that Stone Cold kind of kicked Mr. McMahon a yep. little hard. That was a snug kick. It was. And I think it took McMahon's breath away, which is what happened. Yeah. And and and, and when when and you're when Steve, you're fucking when you're Steve, fucking Steve, your Steve Austin Steve Austin knew, and so Steve Austin did a very weak stunner, which was fine. Right. It didn't look right on camera. I'll, I'll admit it didn't look right on camera. Right. Now let's talk about Austin Theory's reaction to the stunner. Oh my god. That was the great. Guy just like flipped over like a fish. Right. He did like this <laughs> little kick. He almost like launched into the he catwalk. <laughs> he did he did a great stunner sell overall. He looked I mean Yep. I like Pat Mac. I, I, I really like also let's talk about Pat McAfee where he was laying down because so he went into the ring with Stone Cold to do the um, Stone Cold cheers. He took a stunner, and while Stone Cold was doing that, Pat McAfee laying on his back grabbed one of the Stone Cold beers, and he was like <laughs> drinking it. He was drinking it. <laughs> it's like, oh, that that looks like me on fucking Friday sometimes. Right. But it was really good. I, I just loved everything about yeah. this. 
Um, from the match itself was good. Mm -hmm. I really did like it. From uh, Mr. McMahon's little whatever, that was fine. To Stone Cold coming out and doing that, it was just great. People yeah. people responded well. Uh, Mr. McMahon, uh, give or take the stunner, but I'm going to be very nice about it because, you know, when you're in your late 70s, you shouldn't be in the ring. I right. mean, your 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 son in law retired the same day. So right, <laughs> you're in your late seventies. You're not gonna take a Stone Cold Stunner like right. you like like fucking uh, 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 Austin Theory. Right, like the, like the father of your gra grandchildren retired the exact same day you were taking Stunner. So <laughs> right, exactly. It's a weird as shit. All right, let's talk about it. The main event, double title: Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar. What a weird match. It went about how I expected it to. I'm not a fan of the finish. It felt a little rushed. It felt very rushed. It was 12 minutes and 15 seconds. I Edge was expecting and, you know, at least another 10 minutes. Edge and AJ Styles was double the time. Seriously? Edge and AJ Styles was 24 minutes and 5 seconds. Oh Roman Reigns God. and Brock Lesnar was 12 minutes and 16 seconds. Well, no wonder... I mean, yeah. I mean, the, the, the time should have been switched. I will say one thing. Um, well, number one, no. Absolutely not. I think that we'll talk about this shit when we make Pro Wrestling Majestic again because I think one flaw was AJ Styles and Edge is down. I mean, I think that we should start talking about it right now. All what? right, let's talk about it. So, number one, Roman Reigns won with a spear kind of out of nowhere. It was. I didn't like it was that. Weird. Um, people were like, oh, okay. And also, they said the undisputed universal champion. Are they really going to do this? Let's talk about let's talk about making Majest uh, Pro Wrestling. They're Majestic they're going to retire the universal champion. I hope they do. They are the WWE champion should be the champion. The the M WWE champion has the history. They're going to retire the universal champion. They have to be done with this whole rivalry. But I will say one thing: giving them credit, they made this feel like a big deal. Overall, it was okay. Also, I mean, we've seen it before, so I kind of expected a lot of the same things to happen. I was like, I'm not going to say it was just, dis I was very disappointed in the ending to this match. It was like a it, random it was, spear. It was very random. I did not like the ending to right. this match. It was, it was a little cattywampus, but overall, they did not make this feel like a big deal, so I was, I, 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 I was satisfied overall just with the ending. All right, let's move on. Oh, God, there's a lot to unpack here. Number one, Mr. McMahon should have gotten into the ring and had a match. He have, did. Have, have McMahon do, like, a underhanded tactic and then Stone Cold come out and then stunner him instead of having the match. That was really unnecessary. Yeah, I but know. I will say one thing. Um, them taking Pat McAfee back to when he was training in 2007 – and him being as a kid really put me back into right. the passion of Pat McAfee within the moment. Also, Pat McAfee can draw in crowd reaction better mm -hmm. than anybody else. The problem with Austin Theory is that he's so young. He's so green. He's green. Right. He's good. I like Austin Theory. But this is a big moment. And... I think he did okay. He could have done better with some seasoning. Mm -hmm. And I think there's just a problem of orientation of the card. Yeah. If this was maybe second or third match, we would have a totally different conversation. Not Well they did because of Stone Cold Steve right, Austin. Not not you know, not pre main event or what is what is the other name for it? Penultimate. Penultimate. This shouldn't have been the penultimate main event. Anyways, let's move on. Well, we're making the shit just again. I know. That's, but that's, that's literally all that needed to happen. Yeah. Let's talk about this. It shouldn't have happened at WrestleMania. Why did it happen at WrestleMania? Pete Dunne looked like a little bitch. Yeah, um, it, was, it, was pretty, it was pretty lame, actually. The New Day looked like... They looked like scrubs. Yeah, pretty much. They looked like scrubs. Yeah. Why did they lose to Sheamus... Rich, injured, and little bitch. Why? Why at WrestleMania? Why this late? Because, well, it was taken off of the card night one because there was no time. It was given a minute and thirty seconds on night two. So, 
just goes to show how much they really cared about this. This match. wasn't at night one. That's a problem. No, it sh- it was originally going to be night one. <laughs> not not before the fucking shit was finalized. No, no, it was. It was originally going to be night one. No, it wasn't. Mm-hmm. No, it wasn't. Well, you better look it up, Adam. <laughs> you better fucking look it up. It wasn't. It was always it was always scheduled for night two. It was scheduled originally for night one. <laughs> Maybe before they actually confirmed the card. Well, might want to look it up. Uh, all right, let's talk about this. So, the only problem with this is that these two know how to. This is the only match where I really forgot I'm most. So of So disappointed. I, I like. I legitimately could not remember a single piece of this match that was memorable. The problem with this match. Actually, no. Scratch that. The only part of this match Damian I find Priest. memorable was Damian Priest. Great. I love that. So here's what's going to happen. And I told Tiger Hype this. Damian Priest and Edge. Well, Edge is going to be forming this new faction. Cool. Damian Priest is going to be a part of this. And they're going to bring on other members. Now, I thought maybe this would be a great impetus for someone like the Street Profits to turn heel, but we don't know that yet. But uh, Edge is going to start a new faction after WrestleMania, and that's going to happen for damn sure. Okay, so number one, I'm, I'm going to do two things about this. I'm going to start with the faction. I think the Street Profits would be good, but I think Los Lotharios would be great in this position. Ooh, I didn't think about that. Los Lotharios would be a great thing. They're kind of dead in the water right now. And I think them getting the rub from Edge would be great overall. And also, you'll have that Edge SmackDown presence. Mm -hmm. And also, it would not interfere with uh, Damian Priest and Edge on Raw. So, that's just me. But, number two, the problem with this match... And I think I really illustrated this was pacing. Oh god! And here's yes. here's the thing with wrestling matches. This was the worst pace match. Yep, the absolutely. Entire card. I agree with you hundred percent. These two know how to pace, and they just didn't click mm. on that. They went from really slow to really fast to really slow again in wrestling, and this is a medium that this can never be done is the overall objective of pacing. You know why? Because it's controlled. Mm -hmm. Where a UFC fight, it's not a factor because you cannot control the pacing of fighters. Right. But in the context of a wrestling match, you know how to do it. And these two, as experienced as they are, should have had a five-star, 100% classic here. It wasn't, though. They didn't. And that was their fault. Yeah. But at, at least at the very end, you had something interesting. Yeah. With Priest losing the United States title, he's not going for it again. He's going with Edge. I'm cool with all of that. Okay. Because they're very, they're very interesting overall. But overall, fine. Uh, Let's not talk about this. This match shouldn't have happened. Corey Graves and Carmella should be dragged in the street and shot. Or um, go against the whole um, Biden jerk off session, be lynched. I'll or, start. Or, or, or injured, not severely, but injured enough to where it's painful. We don't, we don't say no. We want to keep our YouTube monetization. No, we don't say the K <laughs> word. Bad. I didn't say that. You said drag down the streets and, and unalived. I didn't say unalived. I said, said lynched. Sh- you... <sighs> okay, fine. All right, I'll I'll, I'll be PC. I'll, I'll be PC here, okay? I'll be PC. They, they, should... They, they, they should be Biden and still not unalived. There. That makes sense. Good. <laughs> we want to keep our... No, YouTube, our Lord and Savior, Google, we want to keep our monetization. Thank you. Right. Let's go, Brandon. Anyway, so... <laughs> Number one, they it should have been between the original two. Shayna Baszler and Natalia, Ray Ripley and Liv Morgan are a nothing fucking sandwich in context. Yeah, they, they should not have been involved. Zero in context. Yeah. <laughs> God. 
I don't know what the hell that is. You want me to start hosting this show? I don't know what the fuck is happening. I'm gonna start hosting this damn show. You know what? It, you know the problem is, I had like the doors open like the whole day, and I got a frog in my throat from that. Well, you should cough it out. But then. over, but overall, the problem is that this match shouldn't have happened in the context that it did because only two things cared. Now I like that Carmella ate the pin, so I was happy about that. But the only, but honestly. What happened was the Carmella Corey Graves thing superseded the actual match itself. Yeah, and that's a problem. That's yeah, a problem. It was it was one hundred percent a problem mm. because they were like shooting the Corey Graves every fucking move, oh, they and it were. was like, ugh. I mean, Carmella, you should know the fucking future of right. this. Take take your fucking thing, and I know Pina Gallagher doesn't like this guy. Take your shit from fucking Tom Likas. Once a cheater. Always a cheater. Yeah. Once a bum, always a bum. Got it? Get it? Good. You should have stayed with fucking W. Morrissey. Mick. <laughs> if you oh, could figure out how this works. What the hell happened? I don't know what happened. Oh, there we go. Okay. <sighs> I loved. Oh, I loved everything. Oh, I'm struggling. I loved everything about this. Well, except Jim Cornette. Jim Cornette doesn't... He can, Jim Cornette can take his 80s mouth and suck the fattest part of my cock. This is WrestleMania. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> well, here's the problem, though. His wife is probably... He's probably simping over his wife fucking another one of his students. Bitch. Anyway, so... The problem with Jim Cornette is this was enter. Here's the thing. Johnny Knoxville, he has a charisma. He had at least some sort of talent. And here's the thing. He took the moves. He was actually very good in his spot with this. And also, he paid respect to the business. Kind of kind of like how uh kind of like how Dave doesn't know facts, right? Exactly. Yeah. You have you have Dave. It's not AEW, so I don't give a shit. Fax Meltzer here. <laughs> Dave Meltzer is an ass, isn't he? <laughs> he really is. You know why? Because he's paid for people. It's obvious. <laughs> Tony Khan's got him in his back pocket. <laughs> I love I, I love Tony Khan, but goddamn, I don't want. I don't care if he gives me a hundred fucking million dollars. I ain't selling out to the Ty Lopez love child with fucking. Grant Cardone, okay? I'm not going to really do that. Feel. Anyways, let's talk about, instead of talking about the Smarks over at Pro Wrestling Observer Newsletter, let's talk about this match. This match was fun. It was fun. And here's the thing. It, it, Every it, WrestleMania has to have a fun match. But here's the thing. This match was fun. It was very physical. Mm -hmm. it, it didn't insult my intelligence. And that's the thing that what I really love. Well, about it kind this. of did, but no, I no, it did No, no, I did. There's okay. There was a gigantic mouse trap. Okay, it insulted everyone's intelligence, but I expected every it to. everybody thought it was. And here's the difference: it didn't insult your intelligence because you knew it was going to happen. Oh, yeah. You're like, what's going to happen with the with with the Jackass crew? Right. You had Pee Wee coming out and doing moves against Sami Zayn, and people lost their minds. That's not insultive intelligence. That made sense. You know why? Because number one, Sami Zayn... It's a fucking comedy match. Here's the thing. Sami Zayn's awesome. But also, Johnny Knoxville respected the business. Yeah. Don't take it so seriously there, Dave. Don't take it so seriously there, right. Jim. And here's the thing. It's a fucking comedy match. Wrestling is... Uh, uh, there are parts of a wrestling card that are supposed to be fun. And Santino they had in the perfect place for it. Right. Here's the thing. Like, oh, Santino Morella. Yeah, Santino Morella made a joke of the business. 100%. But this was a different situation. Um, number one, it was Sami Zayn's actual phone number. And here's the thing. They are all involved. It made it viral. It made it interesting. And people loved it. What's wrong with that? It got people wanting to watch some wrestling. Right. This is going to be talked about on TMZ forever, just like with um, David Arquette when he took on Nick Gage. Anyway. Hoss match. This was fun. I loved this. It was this. a Hoss match. I thought Omos looked really good. Lashley yeah. really, Lashley put him over really strong. <sighs> Omos is still too... He's too he's too one dimensional. For I'll me. say one thing. I agree with you on that. He is too green. 
I agree with you. 100%. I agree He's with you. He's also one dimensional. There's, there's no person that. There, there's not a lot of personality for Omos outside of he's a big, strong black boy. Right. And here's the problem. Cool. Uh, here, here, here is a problem. With Bobby him. Lashley is an army veteran. Right. <laughs> here's a problem. Here's a problem with Omos, and I think this is literally what they only have to do to make this shit majestic. Omos needed some time in NXT. Mm-hmm. To get that. Here's the thing. He needs to hone his craft, and he Omos, also needs to develop a character. Omos what is he? Omos has the potential. He actually can talk well for... Oh, no, I think he can. He has, he has, a, he has a presence. He has a voice. If you, if, if, he, uh, he doesn't talk well. Let's... Well, here's the problem, though. They put him on the main roster too soon. Yeah, Take kind of, him, kind put of like him, Gable Steveson. Right. Put him in NXT. Give him some time to hone that craft. Well, there's no... this is an excuse for him to go to NXT for a while. Right. There's no excuses. Lashley, put him over the best he can. I, I like the match personally. I wouldn't have done anything different. Uh, but also, they, they made Omos look like a killer up until this match. Right. He was destroying everybody because, you know what? There was something to him. He was, he was destroying Davocado. He wasn't really destroying everybody, but let's put it that way. All, All right. right, first match. Uh, I don't even remember this match happening. Um, so the only thing that I remember was Gable uh, Stevenson. I mean, he's he's really close. I mean, didn't he retire from amateur wrestling? Yes. He's right there. Yeah, he's ready to go to the big leagues. No, he's not. Well, he's not, but he's he wants to go. Well, he should go to NXT, but he should go to NXT. I don't know why he's not. NXT 2.0. The problem is that he is he's still that Olympic gold medalist, and they think that they have another Kurt Angle. I like the guy, but the problem is with Kurt Angle is that, number one, he trained outside of WWE. But number two is that they threw him in the Alliance Den, and Kurt Angle just had that natural charisma. Right. Gable Stevenson, we don't know yet. Right. And putting him on WrestleMania, that's a whole other level. Right, it is. Kurt Angle wasn't at his first year's WrestleMania. Right. They, it gave, they gave him a minute to kind of hone his craft. Gable Stevenson, they're putting him in a big disadvantage right. of a guy who actually has some sort of natural charisma. I like the guy. He has the look to do this. He has the obvious athletic talent to do this. But does he have that personality? We don't know yet. Chad Gable does. I love Chad Gable. I love the Alpha Academy. Anyways, let's summarize WrestleMania in a couple of short sentences. Everything about WrestleMania was so much fun. They nailed this WrestleMania. I'm going to give this WrestleMania two thumbs up. I thought it was that good. The build-up to WrestleMania left much to be desired. But as usual, every single, well, not every year, but most years they knocked it out of the park they kind of took a break from it and i think the pandemic had a lot to do with the way that this one was kind of built as well but they are they i think are going to start to hit their stride again and kind of continue onward with that whole momentum building so there there were there were wrestlemania moments here that even you said to you you were like i really like this so what are your what what is your uh, I'm gonna thumbs a, up? I'm gonna give it one thumbs up. You're gonna give it one. I'm not thumbs gonna give it two thumbs up. It wasn't like the perfect WrestleMania. Um, like I said, the build to it had a lot to be desired, but the outcome was mostly excellent. Absolutely, I agree with you on that. Um, do you have a best or worst match of the night or of of WrestleMania in general? Well, let's talk. About, well, the worst match of the night was the women's tag team. Okay. Championship match. Okay. Um, Edge versus AJ Styles was the most boring match of the night. I'm going to give the best match of the night. Who? The best match of the night. God damn. I'm kind of torn. I have I have three matches of, of, I guess not of the night, but of the weekend that I really liked. Okay. Um, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Kevin Owens, No Holds Barred. It was a g- pretty good. It was. Um... I liked uh, 
the Cody Rhodes Seth Rollins that was excellent banger was mm, magnifique, and of course the Cinderella story known as uh, Bianca Belair and Becky. Lynch. I like it. all three of your of all all three of your best matches of the nights were from night one. Yeah. And here's the thing. Night one was better than night two. Absolutely. A hundred percent. I agree with you. <laughs> night one was just better. And I, 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 you know, I hate saying this. The worst match of the night was Edge, AJ Styles. Of the whole weekend. Of all of WrestleMania. Like I said, it was the most boring match. But No, I'm, I'm, I'm actually legitimately going to say it was the worst match. I think because of my expectations. And they know better. They know better. Yeah. And yet they pulled off this boring slog of a match. Right. I don't even remember the match. So right. We, we just watched it, what, an hour and a half ago? Yeah, I remember matches from night one better. Right. I remember night one matches better. And um, so I, I, I'm actually going to give Charlotte Flair run around with my best weekend match. Seriously? Mm-hmm. That match was terrible. It wasn't. I thought it was the best match. I think it was the best match. <sighs> I thought it was God, good. I don't know what you're looking at. It felt it, it felt it felt like a WrestleMania match. I don't know what you're smoking, but I want some. I'm sorry, that's that's just my opinion. Oof. I well, you... guess what? Everyone can have a wrong opinion. What was right? right. <laughs> what was um? Who who was your who was your favorite celebrity match? Ooh. Mine was Logan Paul. Logan Paul. Mine was Logan Paul. Yep. I, I think because here's the thing, thing. Johnny, Johnny Knoxville, Knoxville there, there was some, some fun stuff with it. Don't get me wrong. Logan Paul. But the expectations with Logan Paul were a lot higher. And he, he crushed it. So. He felt like a star. He was better than The Miz. So anyways, Chad Gaspard. I'm not crying. You're crying. That was rough. <laughs> I, 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 I watched the whole speech, and I swear to God. Made, like, made a grown man cry. I was... I wasn't sure if it was pure euphoria and just being – it was rough. Especially when um, his kid and JTG did the um, uh, did the crime time thing. Yeah. I was like, ugh. He's such a natural. He's going to go into this business. I can just feel it. But overall, WrestleMania, I loved it. I, I had so much fun. I love WrestleMania every year. This one felt like WrestleMania, despite the build. Despite right. the build, it felt like WrestleMania. Anyways, next week, what are we going to be doing next week? Next week, we're going to be doing heckling and wrestling lesson, just like normal. But we're going to be covering the shows that we did not do this week because of WrestleMania, which was Ring of Honor, Supercard of Honor, and NXT Stand and Deliver. I heard both of them were good. Let's rock and roll. So if you did enjoy this, remember to like, subscribe, follow, share with all your friends. If you're watching us or listening to us, thank you for doing so. We are on YouTube, Spotify, we are on iTunes, we're on Podbean, anywhere you listen or watch all of your podcasts, we are there. Look up Pro Wrestling Zone or make Pro Wrestling Majestic again, you'll find us. Also, become a patron where you can watch it live with us, get some cool merch, we have some Red MPWMA hats coming out. Cool. Same style, same makers as Make or um, Make America Great Again. Cool. Literally the same makers. Oh, that's awesome. So keep in mind for that. We'll have those released. But if you become a $20 patron, um, you have a drawing where Peanut Gallery and I will sign one of the hats and send it to you randomly. So, become a twenty dollars patron and get that. I didn't know I was signing things. Oh yeah, no, we'll we'll be. It's only one thing per month, and you get that little thing. But you'll always get you'll always get it. You'll always get a hat. You'll always get a shirt. One of the things, but it could be signed or not. Mm. So stay tuned for that and be on there. And also, you'll be a part of the watch party where you can talk with us. You can get drunk with us. We do live chats. We do trivia's. We do, you know, all that fun stuff. We will be your, um, I mean, we'll be your therapist, whatever you want to do. But it's always a, Ooh, always a great time. To, I'm not prepared to be a therapist. Let me get some more wine. <laughs> also, so always good stuff with a patron. Um, check out Patreon. There's a link tree. 
not only actually on the screen now right here scan that you'll find everything from every single place if you're viewing us but as always once again be majestic, majestic.